We have learned how to change the color of text, but we haven't had many options. To get the colors and font you want, click Colors and Font at the top left of the screen. From here, there are many pre-designed color and font options. Click on a few to see what the presentation will look like. To go back to what we had, click Original Theme. Above Original Theme, you'll find Theme Wizard. This is how we pick our own colors and fonts. Click on Theme Wizard. The first thing to decide is the background color. Find the color you want, then click Next. Notice the picture above will show you what the color will look like. This step lets us choose three sets of fonts and colors. This also previews what your choices will look like. To change any of the three fonts, click the down arrow next to the type of font. This shows you all available fonts you can choose. Now you can choose the color you wish it to be. Let's change the others so that we can see what it looks like when we're done. When you're done, click Next. This last page allows you to change the color of the frames, arrows and lines, and marker. Make all the changes you want, then click Done. If we click the word Head, then click the Pencil Edit button, we now see a different title option. If we look at lines, frames, arrows, and markers, we will see those option changes as well. Remember, you can change the color of the text, arrows, and lines. You cannot change the color of the frames and of the marker. Those colors you must choose in the color wizard.